Hello, this is a tutorial on how to use the employee heat map in the change compass. Now, when we first start to use the heat map, um, this is what the heat map looks like. And the way we navigate to get there is to click the report section and then the employee heat map tab on the left in the navigation menu on the left. Now, the employee heat map is actually a really great um, report to really have a sense what is going on with the organization in terms of the different levels of impact across different parts of the business. Now, um, looking at this graph, you will see that there are different months of the year across here, and then the year selected, and the weeks within each of the months. And you'll notice that there's normally five weeks within a month. So what that means is um, generally you'll have certain days where it's actually, um, you know, there might be a few days that, actually, that it's actually the end of April or beginning of April, etc. So that's why there's often, there's usually five weeks within a month. Now let's go ahead and have a look at the different filters for the report. Now, looking at initiative and impact um, filters, you'll see that there's an initiative uh, filter for you to select particular initiatives that you want to have a look at. The division that you're interested in having a look, now you could actually select multiple decision, uh, divisions to have a look here as well. You could have a look at the company strategy. Um, so here we selected all. You could have a look at different types of change. So maybe you want to have a look at just the customer change or it's a marketing change and everything that's um, operational changes as well. So therefore, um, as soon as you select these, you'll see the report actually being reflected as you select it. Now to deselect it, we simply select all and it'll go back to the um, original default selection. The other one is stakeholder, where you could actually select different stakeholders. There's owners that you could select or contact. Um, you could also uh, filter out just by the quarter or for the whole year. Now, if you select by quarter, you'll notice that it actually starts the previous month and the next three months. So that it gives you that view around what happened last month and what's going to happen for the next three months of the year. You will notice that in this version of the employee heat map, we no longer use um, red, amber, green, which was the previous version. In this version, you'll, you'll see that there's different shades of blue. Now, the reason for that is we've gotten feedback from our users that often the stakeholders interpret red as being bad or negative, whereas green is good and great and everything's going fine, whereas amber's in the middle. Now, that may or may not be the case because it could be, um, it really depends what the story is that you're seeing here. So it could be that, um, a lot of change is actually really positive change that employees embrace and things are going great for them as opposed to, you know, the, the darker the color is, um, that the more negative it is in terms of the volume change, that may not be necessarily the case. So just bear that in mind. And that's why we've chosen different shades of blue instead, just to avoid that um, stakeholder bias in terms of interpreting the report. Now let's go ahead and have a look at this report. You'll see that in this, so this is a demo data. You'll see that a lot of the business units here listed have a lot of change going on because they're actually deep blue indicated here. If we go ahead and have a look at the, um, let's say the manufacturing business unit, uh, when you hover the mouse over each of the week, you can see that there's actually, there's generally three uh, or two initiatives going on. If we click and expand the button for the manufacturing business unit or division, 
uh, then we can get a sense. Then the report actually helps you to focus on um, that particular part of the business and, and whites out all the other sections of the heat map. Now, if you go ahead and click one of the weeks in July, and you can see that there's three initiatives. If we click on that and we scroll down a little bit, you notice that it shows you the three initiatives that impacts manufacturing um, in that uh, particular week. So week three of July. Now, um, if we want to then deselect it, we just basically click on that cell again and you'll see that it's deselected it. Now you'll find that every first row of each expanded division is basically um, all subdivisions under that division. So that's why it says manufacturing all. Now, if we go ahead and actually try another example, let's say corporate affairs, you will find the same thing. So the first line is always gonna be corporate affairs all for all of the division. And then the rest of the subdivisions would be then listed underneath. Now, the other thing to note here is um, you could actually click um, yes to see the number of initiatives on the right hand side and it would then show you the numbers of initiatives listed for each week and for each month of the year. We could also have a view um, by activity and by geography. So if you click on by geography it would then show you the heat map um, of what's happening um, in terms of each type of uh, change activity and when those things are happening throughout the year. Now, if you click geography, then you would see a list of different geographical locations and how they're impacted throughout the year. The other thing to note here is on the right hand side, there's a sliding scale for time. So you could actually move this time line here and actually see the graph loading um, according to the date you've given it. And if we don't actually click on any part of the cell, it would just list every initiative um, in this graph below. Now, say for example, if you just entered a few initiatives and then went straight into the employee heat map to have a look at the data. Just note that the data may not be reflected immediately. Um, in that case, if you want to really see the data immediately, you would need to click this refresh report button and you'll see that the button is working to refresh the data. And then if you click the download report, this is when you could actually um, get a PDF download of um, the report that you want to view. So this is the view that you'll be getting. So that's all for the employee heat map.